Hi, it's Jenny with Cozy 101.1, and today's real funny friend is Rocky Laporte, going to be at Comedy Works South. And uh, we were just talking about how, like, everybody's traveling and things like that, because last time you were here, we didn't get a chance to meet up. You had a car accident. Yeah. And this is one of the dangerous weekends for it. Like, people need to be safe. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's it's crazy. But I feel like a little bit of comedy keeps you having, like, because I think people have extra days off. Yeah. Except That's for you. Good. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's, yeah, they're worried about, you know, people coming and all that. Mm -hmm. But uh, so I figured, well, I'll just try all new junk if there's only 20 people there. <laughs> and it goes, it don't go good. Like, who's going to, who are they going to tell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, this is a good way to test it for sure. Exactly. But I think that there's a lot more people um, that are sticking around to you. It's so expensive to go travel anymore, and we have. I was talking about like a lot of the roads up in the mountains and stuff like that are still all yuck because we got oh, some light right? snow. So. Yeah, and who wants to sit in traffic and not me? Who wants to spend time with their relatives even? Nope. If you think about it, I'm going no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to con have I mean, some what? drinks and some laughs. laughs. I'd rather be doing that. Oh yeah. Well, then that way it's like you know the joke's not on us. Like they're not laughing at us. Yeah, it's they're nice with. to see family for about a half hour, and then you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, we're stuck in a cabin together. I've seen this movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't end well for grandma. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, but Rocky Report, like, I love it. So it says that you do, like, the clean comedy. Now explain that clean blue-collar comedy to me. Um, I don't Cause, know. Because like, it's, like, different than a lot of other people. Like, you, Yeah, but it's funny, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had people thank me for being clean. I never had no one thank me for being dirty. Yeah. Like, I never had. And if, if you think about it, like, how many people made it to that level being dirty there's only yeah. you know, maybe andrew dice clay and yeah. lisa lamp and ali like there's probably maybe 10 mm -hmm. i don't i don't i just think you get a bigger audience and you're more open to uh like corporates cruise ships like stuff like that well you and know? i think that you also it, it's got to be more challenging and more of like an intellectual thing to be able to do that clean comedy now yeah because people you know you don't the shock value and whatever else that used to be i think people just want normal now like yeah. they want to know what's going on normally and they want to feel like they're not alone because we all have the same stupid things that happen to us. Exactly. Everybody's in a like a crummy relationship usually, mm -hmm. you know. And then, you not know, anymore. But, I'm done now. <laughs> right. Oh, good for you. Yeah. But recently, yeah. Was like, oh, yeah. good for you. But yeah. Was that your first marriage? Or yeah, it was 20 yeah. years. Get the first one out of the way. <laughs> right? You get the little starter husband. You sound husband. like my mom and my grandma. <laughs> they're like, you know, are you know I can start dating again? I'm like, no. No, no, why would I do that? No. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I do the whole thing where I'm like, this is why I'm single. Like, No, you could do this. You're no quitter. I'm no quitter. Just keep That's going. <laughs> uh, but I love it. Like, like you said, I just think it's um, it's interesting, the stuff that you have that makes people connect to it because it's, it's all of us. Yeah, exactly. That's what people come. They go, oh, that's really fire. This happened to me the other day. Like, I can relate, you know. And I was kind of a screwball in school anyway. So, it, you know, I don't know what else I was going to do, you know. <laughs> I was going to say, is that how you got into comedy? You're just one day you're like, I just like making people laugh. Pretty much, you know. I kept getting in trouble and, you know. And sometimes, like, fun. And I never meant to be funny. Mm -hmm. But I remember one time at, m my sister passed away a while ago. And at her service, you know how they say, mm -hmm. hey, does somebody want to come up and say a few words? Oh, yeah. And this is how I knew I've been in showbiz too long. And I didn't even do it to be funny. Um, and I, so the priest brings me up. And like an idiot, I wasn't, I just go, hey, keep it going for Father Mark. Like he's emceeing the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. hey, he'll be back here. And, and everybody laughed. And I go, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. You know, yeah. it was just, you know. Well, you command a room. Like after, like you said, you've been doing it for so long and. And I feel like at those in st those situations, uh, never sit next to me because I am so like it's so hard to deal with death anyway. I'm gonna try to make it funny. Like I'm gonna try to make something like make you laugh and t take your mind off it for a minute. And then it's like you know you get the stern looks from people like what is she doing? Well, sorry, it's uncomfortable. I don't like that being. I make jokes when this, I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, me too. This really happened about a month ago. Uh, some friends of mine in Ohio, their friend passed away from. Mm -hmm. Uh, alcoholism. He's only 52 and he died of alcoholism. Well, and there's like, oh, every week there's always some nit with that comes up to the casket and they go, he looks good. Right? Like, it's like, yeah. he's dead. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how good How bad did you look in life? Right, that, that people they're think, saying that you're good now. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, <laughs> the, the guy we're, comes we're up. We're in trouble. <laughs> and he goes, he, no, no. This, he goes, he looks good. And his brother goes, that's because he hasn't had a drink in three days. <laughs> You're like, you're like, oh my gosh! Well, can we laugh at that? Is it too soon? Like, that's the thing is, 
you have to laugh. You have to laugh. Yeah. Otherwise, the world is going to be way too hard on you, and it's going to come and be brutal for Absolute, sure. Oh, uh, for sure. As I, you know, I can make jokes about my divorce. I can make jokes about like, and even when I was going through it, it was that's that's how I got through it. I think the, sarcasm yeah. and booze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those are the both. Those are the two. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you go and see Rocky Laporte. Going to be at Comedy Works South all weekend long. And uh, be one of those 20 people that gets to hear his new stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> one of those 20 people, right? <laughs> no, it'll be but it's good. good because then you feel like it's like, you know, he's just talking to me. It's just a couple people. That's right. We're at a cafe having a beer. That's right. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Bye. Cozy 101.1. Have a safe weekend, whatever you do.